Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Cyber Pro Podcast. Five questions in under nine minutes because hackers never sleep. <laughs> Super excited to have a two service veteran on the show today. Mark, question number one who are you and what do you do? Hi. Yeah, I'm Mark Ramsey. I'm a uh, cybersecurity expert. I've been in uh, some form of uh, data security for the past 18, 19 years. Uh, I've started out when it was just data security and uh, progressed now to leading three uh, global companies in their uh, their role in cybersecurity, getting compliance and, and, and the like. And right now I'm uh, basically with the pandemic uh, hitting and stuff, I have um, didn't want to travel that much anymore. So I'm in, I've been offering my services to companies uh, as a a virtual CISO, helping them understand what their risks are, especially with the new remote uh, atmosphere that's out there. So um, I and I also um, have been a professor at a local university here, uh, teaching uh, security courses. Uh, we just just started a master's program in cybersecurity, which I, I teach all the courses in. And I'm also a president of the local chapter of InfraGuard. It's a FBI-based organization that has chapters across the country. Uh, and it's a way for the FBI to share with local businesses what they're seeing and a way for businesses to share with the FBI of uh, you know what's going on uh, in, in New York that you can expect is probably going to hit Connecticut or California or um, the like. So um, I stay busy. I enjoy it. And I, I love cybersecurity. Uh, it's, it's ever changing. Uh, but in the root core, it's still the same thing. It's still the good guys versus the bad guys. And, you know, who gets the best tool quicker and gets it out there and, and stops it. Wonderful. So let's take that. Let's dig down that rabbit hole a little bit. And why do you love being a cybersecurity expert? Because it's one of those jobs where it's never the same. Each day you go to work, there's a, a new threat. There's a new uh, thing that you have to start thinking about, um, you work with the business because they obviously they are trying to really grow the business uh, and they hear what you know the new tech, new technologies they want to use. So, uh, as a cybersecurity expert, you need to be up on those. You need to understand what the risks are and and work with them. You know, you can't tell them no. You just got to tell them okay, yes, I understand it's a good technology, and here's how we would uh, uh, protect you, protect our company, and your uh, your customers uh, with, uh, you know, to prevent or to lower the risk of uh, of uh, something bad happening uh, with the data, especially with all the new compliance laws that are in place today across this country and across the world. Compliance, I shake my head. That's that's such a heavy conversation. We, we definitely will have to have a, a future talk about that. But mm -hmm. other than compliance, and maybe this is the response that you have, we hear cybersecurity is a top concern, but what does that mean to you? What that means is um, who is getting access to your data? Uh, do you know who they are? Uh, do they have the right type access um, that you know that they should have and not more and not less? Things happen accidentally or through growth, uh, but then there's also uh, designs when it comes to applications that uh, the, the uh, Programmers, the web developers um, work in a vacuum. They, you know, they their job is to write a great web program, a great interface. Uh, and for me, the importance of cybersecurity is they need to understand. Uh, and I teach this throughout my courses that cybersecurity is just not one technology. It's not one area. It is you could have the most secure network in the world, but if your applications have a hole in it, you've defeated your purpose. So you need to understand as a programmer who you're going to interface with as far as networks and databases and make sure that you're not doing something that's going to weaken them or vice versa. Uh, so it's uh, the importance of it is it's not just that one little thing. It used to be you were a programmer, we wrote you gave you the requirements, you wrote the code and you walked away. Um, that can't be anymore. It's basically you need to understand uh, how you fit into the infrastructure uh, if you're introducing any weaknesses, how do you address that before you do it? And how do you ensure that going forward from an operational point of view, that any new changes, any new patches, any new thing that uh, you are doing to that program will not weaken uh, your company's security stance? Wonderful. So with your experience, what insight do you want to share with other cyber professionals? 
most and most these souls will tell you it's still it's still the human side that is you know the weakest the one that you have to be concerned with and it's not because they deliberately want to do it um as an as a you know a human nature uh, you want to be helpful you want to you know help your your fellow people or if a customer you think it's a customer calling in for an issue you want to help and uh so it's just you know that education to say yes you can be helpful but let's let's do it safely let's do it the right way uh and you know uh you know especially with the, the uh, current atmosphere where you're working from home a lot most of the employees are are uh, working from home and it will continue a little while longer with the new strain um that you know things they do at home on the computer uh they feel a little more relaxed because they're not in an office where someone can walk by and see what they're looking at on the, when they're surfing the web uh so they'll be more in tune to go to a site uh, at home that they would not in the office or their kids or their family members uh introducing a new risk so it's um it's that challenge now today that uh most uh you can put all the technology in you want without if the human side uh bypasses it you've really defeated your purpose so to me it's educating our users educating our our it people uh, as i said before to understand that you are not just an isolated beacon here for the company you have to work with several organizations in the company to make sure that you're protecting us perfect final question for you mark what's your favorite piece of retro technology that makes you smile <laughs> what makes me smile is uh back uh when i was at uh Bitney Bowles in the early days when it was just data security we were uh mainframe with all the wires in the inside the building so there was no threat from the outside um and then they decided to go to the client server and the business came up with this great idea to put their um systems on a pc for their sales reps to uh build an order uh pitney bowles does the mailing and scaling scales for uh businesses mail rooms so they would uh and it get very complicated and uh so they would bring the laptop along and, and, and select all the stuff. So um, that meant putting uh, our pricing, our marketing, all our data on this laptop. So if it got stolen, and that was before, you know, it was like Windows 3.1, there was really no security uh, on it whatsoever. So this company called PC Shield came out that I discovered that was amazing. Uh, you could lock it, you could lock it down to where only a program could access this data, a user could not. And uh, I loved it and I thought it was great. But then Windows, you know, Microsoft came out and said, we're making a new version of Windows, I have built-in security and this company decided we can't compete against Microsoft. So they just um, uh, dropped the product and I said, I'll buy it because it's still, it's gonna take a while for the industry to catch up and, and, and do that. But uh, that was one of the, uh, you know, it was really opened my eyes up to what is possible when it comes to technology of trying to protect uh, companies, uh, valuable assets. That's amazing. Thank you so much for being on the Cyber Pro Podcast. Well, thank you for having me. I really enjoyed it. Hey, you did it. You made it to the end. Thank you so much. Check out more Cyber Pro Podcasts.